Hello and welcome to Tech Fortified where you become a tech magician and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can be able to implement real typing animation effect. You can see this typewriter effect over here on our screen. Maybe you must have seen this on people's website and you don't know how to implement it. But today we are going to see exactly how we can be able to implement this. Alright, back here in my VS code you can see I have my boiler plate and code over here and um, we're going to see how we can implement this there are many libraries that you can be able to use to implement this typing effect but the library that we'll be using here is known as typejs so go ahead and click on your terminal over here and click on new terminal once it is open go ahead and install this library known as react type npn install react type as it is installing let's go ahead and import the library import Right from React dash right uh, like this. So after you have imported the library, let's go ahead and inside this, this is the place that we're going to implement. But I already have my own configuration, so I'm going to paste it. So this is the type. Look at it over here at the top that we import. So you're going to pass and uh, setting props. So the props are strings and type speed back speed loop there are other props as well so go ahead and check out this library on npm react type and you can see other configurations that you can be able to do so the strings carries and takes an array that carries and the statement that you want it to show within your web page the typing effect and the type speed is for how fast you want it to go in milliseconds and the back speed how fast you want it to move backward and then the loop whether you should look through the string so this is how simple it is to apply this type in animation to your own website. And one good thing about this type library is it is going to render all this in a span tag for you. Each of these elements is going to be in a span tag. So you can go ahead and customize it the way you want. So you can see over here in my CSS, the whole report I have inserted the background, the background image that you have seen over there. So and I've customized different properties to work the way I want and uh, you can see over here i've targeted the outdoor span that particular span tag that is going to show an animation and i've customized it to work the way i want so you can go ahead and do that by the way if you want the source code of this i'm going to drop a link in the description so that you can have access to this and see and get everything and maybe integrate it in your next project so after we have done all this let's go ahead and uh, save this thing and check it out in the browser right back in the browser you can see that our animation is showing so as simple as it is you can see it doesn't take us time within this and shortest period of time we are able to add this cool looking animation to our website i hope you have learned something new today so just go ahead like subscribe and um, comment turn on notification and share this video with your friends for more awesome videos like this thank you have a nice day